folks. Welcome to Chacon's Surf Perch Fishing 101. Just walk out there and cast. That's basically all I'm doing. I haven't done this enough to know if there's secrets to it or not. You basically just walk out, cast. If you don't catch anything after, I don't know, five, 10 casts, then I'll just walk 20 feet down the beach and do it again. They typically school up together. So usually when you catch one, you'll catch a, a few. Today I'm throwing this thing right here. I think it only dives like a foot or two. Conditions are real calm right now. So I'm I'm tossing it pretty good. Just getting out there. Eight pound test, it's mono. I think this is like my trout reel. Uh, but yeah, surf perch, surf perch fishing. See what we can do in like two hours. I didn't bring sunscreen, so my arms are definitely gonna get sunburned. This thing's moving pretty mean. If I was a surf perch, I would totally hit that. All right, guys, it's a good sign. I just walked past two gentlemen. I, the one guy, I saw his bag and he had a bunch of perch in it, so. Or I saw one of the guys was using, he was using one of these, so I think we're on the right track. A pretty good drop off right here, too. Yeah, I'm gonna fish right next to these guys. Oh, there's this steep beach all over. Hey, hey, hey buddy. Here we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, it feels like a good fish. Holy cow. He's fighting good. He's pulling drag. I'm only running, I think, yeah. I'm only running eight pound test, so I don't want to overdo it. I gotta take this guy kind of slow. Feels like a good one though, for sure. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. A good surf perch man i brought ice screw it we're gonna keep them nice surf perch ladies and gentlemen super fun fishing they're like extremely aggressive i mean i thought i had a monster on honestly fighting this guy right now that's a barred surf perch not bad not bad at all <laughs> let me make an instagram video All right, there you have it, guys. I haven't been here for more than, I don't know, 20 minutes. I already caught a fish. It's a good good sign. Should only get better, because yeah, the tide's coming up. They so basically fish either before high tide or before low tide, and the rule of thumb is two hours before and two hours after. I think high tide is better for surf perch, because the way I see it, as the tide's coming up, the fish are coming up with the tide. The tide's coming up, and it's basically disrupting, stirring up the sand, and there's sand crabs in the sand, sandworms, and the surf perch, or basically following that, if that makes sense. Not to say you can't catch them at low tide or anywhere in between. I just think the best odds of catching fish are, like I said, two hours before or two hours after at the change of tides. This is a really steep beach too, which is what you want to look for because it's the steeper the beach, the more of an impact the waves are going to make rallying up some sand. Make sense? But yeah, guys, there you go. First fish. Haven't been here more than 20 minutes. They're super aggressive. It's really fun fighting them. I mean, they feel like they're bigger than they are. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep, that's fish. Oh, yeah. That's fish. <laughs> These things fight like crazy, man. <laughs> this guy is fighting like crazy. You think he's a monster fish. <laughs> he is a pretty good one. I think he's bigger than the last one. Nice. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There you have it, folks. Another surf perch. Look at that. That's a good fish. That's definitely a good one, man. Bigger than the last one. Heck yeah. So again, this fish, I mean, freaking tugging away, man. Fighting hard. So it makes it fun. It's a super aggressive bite and then it's a super aggressive fight. All right, number two. I think we just got a hit. First cast back and I think we just got a hit. Yeah, something's hitting it. Aha, we might be on them, ladies and gentlemen. We might be on them. Fish on, baby. Woohoo! Yeah! 
He's tugging away. Pissed off surf perch. Look at that guy. He's a good one. Woohoo! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This might be the biggest one. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> Ugh. Knock him dead. Sorry, man. I'm going to eat you. You're mine. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a secret to uh, surf perch fishing. What I try to do is just, you can kind of tell where it looks a little deeper. Just try to find the deep pockets and honestly just walk and cast. There's no like perfect formula. I just walk the beach, I cast. I walk the beach, I cast. If you catch one, try to get off the hook as quick as possible and catch another because they're usually in the same area. And they're shallow too. Don't think you need to throw this thing. I mean, it's a light lure, so I do try to throw it as far as I can, but I'll catch fish like freaking right on my ankles. I mean, they'll literally swim right up freaking on you. They're shallower than you think. All right, I just had a bite. I had them on and a little bastard came off. I feel like this, this spot felt fishy as soon as I got here. Sometimes when the wave crashes, it kind of feels like a bite. It's pretty funny. Let me turn off my music. In my mind, I was like looking at it and I was like, it doesn't look that deep. I don't think it's, a, it might not be a good spot. And I was like, you know what, screw it. Let's just throw it and see what happens. Look what happened. Ha ha! Woohoo! That's a good one. Heck yeah! <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Got out here right at, I was probably fishing at 5.30, 7 o'clock now. So hour and a half, I've caught four surf perch. And they're all pretty good, to be honest. Good sized fish. See, sunsets at 7.50. If I keep catching them, you know, here and there, I might stay till watch the sunset. I don't know, we'll see. Beautiful though. Can't beat the view. I want to get one or two more before that sun goes down. Ha! Little guy. We foul hooked him too. This is the smallest one. All right, buddy. You gonna make it? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A surf perch fishing in a nutshell. This is what I used the entire time. I was worried uh, about conditions when I first showed up. If, if it was gonna be windy and basically wind or too big of a swell i was going to switch up to just a carolina rig with a gulp sandworm but the weather conditions are honestly ideal i haven't fished conditions like this in a long time i feel like that's uh that's the ticket if you can find really good conditions it makes the fishing a lot easier so i've been out here for probably right around two hours and caught six fish so not lights out but i mean that's pretty decent made for a pretty nice little after after work friday trip i'm gonna probably call it here in the next uh cast or two go home and clean these fish up and probably eat them for breakfast hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned something if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe i plan on uh i'm not gonna stop fishing i've already bought all these stupid gopros so we're gonna film them all.